When I was 13, I started to like a band called Escape the Fate. That's when I became a fan of the band, but more so for the person behind their songs, music and lyrics, the singer and songwriter Rooney Ratke. Ronald Joseph Ratke is an American musician born on December 15, 1983, in Nevada, USA. Ratke came to fame in 2006 with the band Escape the Fate, from which he was expelled in 2008 after Ronnie formed that same year following Rivers, which reappeared at the end of 2010. Ratke was targeted by problems, almost homicide and was convicted in 2008 for breach of his probation. He also suffered from severe drug addiction. Ratke has been characterized as the main author and composer of the bands You've Been. For two reasons, his departure from Escape the Fate, controversial discussion created by fans, were partakers of the rivalry between Ratke and his former band. He is currently a partner of the official member of Bravo Media, Jonah King. Ronald Joseph Radke was born on December 15, 1983, at St. Rose, Las Vegas, Nevada, United States Hospital. Their ancestors are Native American. His mother left him at a young age, even in adulthood he met. His father was a drug addict then living and becoming a devout Christian. His family was very poor, growing up with, the, with his father, his grandmother, and his younger brother. Ronnie learned to play piano and guitar in high school. He formed several bands. The first is called 3.0. The second band was called Lefty. Max Green befriended Ronnie, forming the band True Story. Ronnie recorded the songs solo listing up with his friend producer Michael Elvis Basket in 2001, though composing in 1988 in addition to Suicide the Worst Time and The Departure. Also wrote together the themes as I'm Falling Down, Situations, Makeup and Not Good Enough for Two Don't Cliché, recorded in 2005 and 2006 along with Escape the Fate. Radke throw listing up formally This Is Not The End on January 2, 2009 in MySpace, following Rivers, my baton. The Taste Of Chaos 2, 2008, Ronnie sang with Bless The Fall guys like You Made Us Look Bad. Bill Buchan, lead singer of Bless The Fall, announced that her album will run in participation in a song from the album Awakening. Although the participation of Rooney did not happen, if it is for an oncoming album. In the high school, he participated in several bands. In 2004, he joined as vocalist for the band Escape the Fate, alongside to release the album Dying in Your Latest Fashion in September 2006. Due to multiple problems, Radke left the band and he was replaced by Craig Mavitt, former vocalist of Bless the Fall, in 2008. After serving a prison sentence from 2008 to late 2010, Ronnie released the album The Drug In Me Is You, with his new band following Rivers in July 2011. In an interview Synthesis.net in August 2011, he declared no longer drink alcohol or smoke marijuana after being F.E.R. concert debut at Warped Tour. In 2004, Ronnie Radke and Max Green, Brian, Money met at the school. Brian then came in contact with him and Max to form a band, Escape the Fate. He agreed and began auditioning for a drummer, Robert Ortiz, 17, was selected, creating Escape the Fate. In a few weeks, Omar Spinoza, guitarist of Love Hate Hero, he decides to join them as a red guitarist. In 2006, along with Epitaph Records, Logins in My Day EP, There's No Sympathy for the Dead, recording some songs for their debut album, Dying Is Your Latest Fashion, released on September 26. 
Both works were produced by the producer and Radke friends, Michael Elvis Basket. On September 12, 2006, Ronnie left the band a few weeks, for reasons unknown, though he joined it in a few weeks. In 2007, Skip the Fate participated in shows like Warped Tour and The Black on Black, Tour with Bless the Fall. Ronnie Radke was officially expelled in mid-2008. It clarified by the band was that Ronnie was expelled due to problems with Pearl that this had since 2006. Hamper inter international promotion of this could not leave the country. By default, this Radke could not leave the state of Las Vegas. This went to major factor for expulsion. I also held intense discussion with Max Green. The web we web, the single is a third single from the debut, Escape the Fate. But after the departure of Ratke, the single was never released. This was meant to be launched in mid 2008. In December 2008, Ratke formed with Nathan Schoffler band from Behind This World, which was renamed in August 2009. To falling in rivers because Ronnie met Christian sentence. This to serve his sentence in full on December 12, 2010. And the studio a week later. Recording an album ended in February. His first single, Rised by Wolves, was released in June 2012. The album The Drug in Me Is You was released on July 26, 2010. By Epitaph Records. Ronnie Radke announced that songs recorded by him during his stay in Escape the Fate will be performed at his concerts and makeup. As you are falling down, not good enough for truth in cliche and situation. Your latest two have already been performed because they were written by him in full. The band has been on the move, including the annual Warped Tour. In January 2012, he started the Drug and Me Is You tour in the United States. They are currently comprised of guitarists Derek Jones and Jackie Vincent, drummer Ryan Simon, and bassist Ron Ficaro later officially integrated in January 2012. Ronnie in 2002 on the reality show L.A. Inc. for second seasons as one of the clients. The tattoo took was a horror written by a frog be saying, Aha, I butter nuts. The tattoo is in memory of a job that is always done on an imaginary horse that died from Eden Pisa from the trash and admiration frog Rene of the Muppet Show. And so it was that in his mind Ronnie devised a new process in his an artist also he presented some problems in the course of his life. On June 11, 2008, was taken to the Clark County, Nevada Correctional, according to the website. A central representative said to BusNet, Tuesday, Radke was arrested and the date of trial has not been scheduled. Marshall Pickle, Judge, clarified that Radke was arrested by a surprise in Henderson, about miles outside of Las Vegas. Las Vegas Sun had reported that Rocket was arrested at the intersection of Arroyo Grande Boulevard and Sunset Road in resisting. Pico said Rocket was not fully compliant and that the police had him in custody before he knew what is that happened. Also, that he was not aware of any additional costs that Rocket may face. Would he confirm that the senior request people money as he had been told? According to the statement from the police, the official implementation of the law familiar with the investigation doubted whether that money will be used to correct the end, because they suspect could be used by Rocket to continue their way of living rock star and employment drug, which had been doing while avoiding capture. Radke had been on probation due to his involvement in a fight in 2006 that led to the death of Michael Cook.
During the altercation, in 2006, Cook died after being shot by Chase Raider on one of the friends' racket. However, the charges against Raider were removed after this argument's defense personal. However, Radke was sentenced to a term of probation of five years in Las Vegas and was ordered to pay nearly $100,000 in restitution. Because of this, Radke was to be employed full-time and attend a rehabilitation, rehabilitation center concessions filed to complete. The Sun reports that Radke had also filed to report to his officers. On January 15, 2007, he was convicted due to breach of his probation and his probation was revoked. Since joining, Radke maintained contact with his fans by his MySpace blog posting about his new life in prison and their personal opinion about what happened to escape the fate. In one of his blogs, emphasis Greg Mavid, new singer of Escape the Fate, referring in to to it is a fellow friend on tour and that the band is only of convenience of them. In a telephone interview hosted on YouTube 2744 minutes on October 15, 2008, Radke speaks of few news, issues, and how he didn't escape the fate. Radke started commenting on how the interview is his life in prison and how he was funded by police in Las Vegas. Then continuing the interview but this time with reference to the band. Alar for the drugs, but the whole situation made me throw against me, although one of them as guilty as I am. And it may be strange or illogical, but they accuse me of something I did not. And I am the only one who is paying for this. And the thing is Max, Mr. Maxwell Green, a friend I've known for over nine years, turned against me. And my even said I did not deserve this. He deserved not being on probation. They did not deserve to be in prison for nothing, which is not fair. That would be with me not matter what happens. And what happens? He was on drugs with me and soon learning that I will probably go to hell for violation my probation. I am expelled from the van. My friends are my life and I am grateful that my friend Dan did not go to prison. What people do not know what is were not for Max, the fight never happened. I was always dear for Max. He is not younger than me, but a smaller, good young kid. He was, I was, I was always like his older brother. I went to rehab and came out clean of drugs, but even not want to say Max grade me drugs again. I said no, and I do not blame them. But it's hard when you're on tour with someone like that, which wish has grown by more than nine years. He was locked in the closet to use drugs. Because of his addiction, he has a death at hinting no one ever accused for using drugs. Ronnie Radke. The interview continues in the two segments, night and eight minutes. Radke still has the same conversation with the speaking of Omar Espinosa, former guitarist and his false friends, Greg Mavid, who replaced him as lead singer of Escape the Fate. Rod finally released on December 12 of the prison. Later was arrested on August 6, 2012 for alleged domestic abuse to his girlfriend. Three hearing which shelled and all dates, Ronnie did not attend. According to Sergeant Tom Lawrence, the district attorney of Los Angeles, he sued the warrant after Radkett's girlfriend told police that he had hit on my warrant. Radke's arrest occurred with the incident and was released after posting bail of $30,000 after the publication of the material Ronnie published had dropped his microblog profile. Not everything can be considered actually asking for their bans. Do not believe everything you see on the internet. And until 2014, it was confirmed that Radke was innocent. On October 31, 2012, Ronnie was arrested and charged with a gravet and simple assault after a show at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. For the purpose of presentation of the band, Ronnie threw three microphones and stand into a crowd and hit two people. A 16-year-old girl who ended 
today with a broken hand one one in the head was taken to the hospital for treatment the other was a 24 year old who was a, who was treated at the scene he posted by and was released after this incident six flags great adventure announced a ban on all future metal simply in the local Ronnie Radke was engaged to play with model Chrissy Henderson with one he has a daughter named Willow Grace Radke was born on June 11, 2020 at 48 o'clock but separated since Ronnie cheated on her when she was pregnant. Radke has tattoos all over the body, including facial tattoos. One of two is a teardrop tattoo on his face, representing their possessing hair. On August 10, 2013, Anthony's brother Ronnie died in a car accident. He, along with his father, were the only family he had left.